So here are some considerations for warrior two. In warrior two, again, we'll start with the right leg here. The right foot's forward, the left foot is back. The first thing to think about is the alignment of your feet. Generally, it's going to be different for each person based on what feels comfortable in your body, but the heels are either going to line up or the heel of the front foot, if you were to draw a line straight back, would bisect the arch of your back foot. So either heel to heel or heel to arch alignment, whatever feels good in your body. The width or the length of your stance is long enough so that when you bend your knee, your knee is generally over your ankle, not too far forward and not too far back. Again, so that there's some sensation in the muscles. You're feeling muscular action happening in the thigh uh, of this front leg. The hips may not actually be lined up with the long edge of your mat here. They might be at a little bit of an angle and that's going to depend on your own personal anatomy. Don't worry so much about squaring them up. It's totally going to depend on what's going on in your hips, but generally speaking, the hips are open to the side here. Biggest thing that happens is this front knee collapses in. Make sure that you're using the muscles of the inner thigh and the outer hip to bring that knee so that it is pointing over the middle of your foot, the middle toes. You might feel that then in some of the muscles in your hips, getting into the glutes, maybe even opening up some sensation in this inner thigh. Arms are out to the side. You can gaze out over your front fingertips. Keep some softness in the shoulders here so we're not hiking the shoulders up towards the ears. And if you want to add in some movement, as you inhale, you can straighten the leg and reach the arms up. Maybe gaze either straight forward or even up over the fingertips if you want to challenge your balance a little bit. And as you exhale, bend back into the knee and take the arms back out to the side or even all the way down. And so as you inhale, you reach the arms up, straighten the leg. Maybe take the gaze up. As you exhale, you bend the knee and take the arms back out. And you move back and forth a few times. Remembering to keep pressing down through the feet so you're staying stable and grounded through the feet. The core remains slightly engaged. That's what's centering the entire body and helping you with your balance. And the arms are moving gently and lightly back and forth with the breath. This adds just a little bit more of a flow. Uh, it can get the heart rate up a little bit as we bring the arms overhead and it works the muscles a little bit more or you can just stay here for a few breaths and notice how the posture changes as you stay in it. And then you would repeat the same thing on the other side, noticing how the other side might be slightly different. 